Uh, how many did we need again? Let me just quickly check outside. Uh, let's see, that is several blocks long. I need to get in closer. That is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven blocks long. And since it's going to be spinning, technically I only, I only need half that amount. So I need uh, one, two, three, four, five brass hands. I have three. Oh, I don't actually need that many. I just need two more hands. Okay, let's uh, quickly just... Where did I put all of our iron? I mean, that's the iron ore, but I'm looking for the iron block chest, because that's just eons easier. Uh, not that one. Oh, there it is. I found it. Let's just dump that in there. And iron blocks. Brilliant. We can turn the iron blocks into iron ingots, iron ingots into iron nuggets, and iron nuggets into andesite alloy. So let's go and... Let's go and do all of that, and then I'll join you once I've got the hands, because this is... Yeah, you've seen me make this before. You know what I'm doing. Now, I could go with the automated flattening system, or I could go with the manual system, but I'm feeling relatively lazy today, so let's go with the automatic flattening system. That's weird. Why can't I use it in the multi-server press? I could have sworn I'd done that before. Oh, well, I guess we are going with the manual one after all. And I do... And uh, I've got to turn my magnet off, haven't I? There we go. That should no longer be an issue. I cannot believe it is quicker to do this by hand than by automation. This is ridiculous. There we go. 16 flattened sheets. I can stick my magnet back on now. 17, I guess. Don't count my math. Let's go make these hands. One, two, and no. Give me my second one. There we go. Five brass hands. Right, so all I have to do now is stick them... Uh Oh, I've got to make electron tubes. Ah. And then the site casing, but at least that one's tolerable. Where did I put the rest of my wood? There we go. Give me the casing and give me even more casing. I'm not going to need that much, but I'm making it anyway cuz you know, it's always better to have surplus. Right. So, now that we have the casing, Hopefully we have enough electron tubes. If we only have one, I'm going to be so sad because I hate making these. Okay, we've got more than one. How lucky am I feeling? Oh, very unlucky. We only had two, which means we can only make two. Ah. Right, okay. Well, in that case, then, we need to make some more electron tubes. And electron tubes require rose quartz, and rose quartz requires uh, redstone and regular quartz. And, oh, well, thankfully, we just went on a mining trip, so we have a lot of redstone. So let's drop a lot of redstone in here, and then let's make ourselves some irregular rose quartz. That's it. Five is actually more than enough. And then do we have sandpaper in the computer? No, but we can make it. I just realized I'm going to have to turn my magnet off again. Okay, five polished rose quartz. Right then, so for the rest of the electron tube, it is a redstone torch and iron nuggets. How many of these do we got? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, thank God we had enough. Okay, so now that we've got the electron tubes, we can make ourselves the rest of the deployers. No, we can't. We're out of cogwheels. I am going to scream. Right, so we need buttons for the cogwheels, and buttons are easy enough. There we go. Buttons. Tons of buttons. There we go. That gives us enough cogwheels. I'm so grateful that they come in pairs of eight. If I had to make them one by one, I would not be a very happy camper. Let's just put it that way, shall we? Right then, so let's spread these out evenly. How many more of these do I need? I've got three. I only need two more. So one, and then uh, two. So that goes there, that goes there, and then that goes there. Brilliant. Five deployers. Okay, so we can go and take these deployers now. No, we can't. We need some glue first. I forgot about that. Everything in the create mod, unless it specifies otherwise, we have to stick together with glue. Uh, we, we have tons lying around because I keep using it, forgetting it, and then making more. I just don't remember where I keep forgetting it. I mean, it's kind of how forgetting it works. If I knew it was there, it wouldn't be forgotten, would it? Uh, there's some in this chest, if I remember correctly. 
Guess I don't remember correctly, but we do have slime balls in here, which can actually be used as temporary glue, believe it or not. Or at least I think it can. I remember seeing somewhere that it could. I, I could be talking out of my ass for that one, but I'm pretty sure I'm not. Either way, in order to make some super glue, all we need is slime, an iron plate, and iron nuggets. And we have all of that, so give me that super glue. Absolutely super. And let's fly on out here. So, we don't actually have to hook the deployers up too much of it. Oh, are you kidding me? Now, as I was saying, thankfully, we don't have to hook the deployers up to their own individual sources of rotational power because it's going to be provided through the contraption. However, now that I think about it, I think I may have built this one block too low. That might work, but I wouldn't bet my money on it. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to raise the whole contraption. Give me a second. Or not, because apparently it's that time of the day where Anadonia decides to uh, make me want to off my... So we're just going to pause the recording right there, and then I will uh, see you again in about 15 minutes for me. Although it's probably going to be instant for you, so um, see you in a second. Or now, I guess, for you guys. Hey, we're back. So, what was I doing again? I've completely forgotten. Oh yeah, I raised it all so that I could attach the deployers to the side. Now I need to turn them with the wrench. Uh, yeah, that works. And then if I do the same here, 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 and here. Right then, so, now what I've got to do is I've got to grab, I think it's harvesters it's either harvesters or the saw blade one of them is designed to break wood i don't think it's the harvester i think it's the saw blade yeah harvester is for wheat and the saw blade is for wood i think or not because the way this is being presented is Never mind, yeah, it was on the next slide. Okay, we need saw blades. What even is the recipe? I forgot, I just, I didn't even look. It's andesite casing, iron plates, and an iron... Ah, oh, that's easy. Okay, we're fine. How is it that the only thing we don't have is iron ingots? Let's just do that very quickly. There we go. And we need five of these, so... One, two, three, four, five. One, two... Uh, okay. One, two, three, four, five brilliant and i'm very surprised that we had enough iron plates for that how many do we have oh we have 34 okay not counting the ones in the crafting unit face window box thing good english there well done right then so what i gotta do for these i don't think i have to stick these on i do believe these are just gonna stick to the chassis although we are gonna find out very soon so if I put these along like this, then what I've got to do, this is where the glue comes in. I've got to stick chests to it. Do create contraption support modded chests. Okay, it works with metal barrels. Do we have metal barrels? Is that a thing in here? At metal barrels? Yes, we do. Brilliant. So let's make us some diamond barrels we don't need diamond barrels we're doing this purely for the inventory space because i want to leave this thing running for a while right then so to make a mm, diamond barrel we need a gold barrel and to make a gold barrel we need a regular barrel with uh iron and gold so let's just make let's make some regular barrels to begin with because apparently we don't even have any of those there we go, so turn those into planks, turn those planks into slabs. What we can do then is we can uh, get ourselves the regular barrel. That's it, just uh, gimme, 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 gimme. A man after midnight. Uh, yeah, slot those down the sides like that. Perfect. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. That works, and then give me the slabs. And then once we've done that, now we need gold ingots. Did we pick up any gold ingots from our mining trip? Well, not gold ingots, but like gold ore. Yes, we did. But even if we didn't, we have 19 blocks of it there. So let's just um, slurp some of that up. And let's make ourselves a golden barrel. And from there, all we need is one extra diamond. A very lovely diamond. And we can take that from the... Uh, backpack of mined minerals. There we go. So yoinky sploinky on that one. And that gives us the diamond barrel. Absolutely perfect. Is there a tier higher than that? 
There's the crystal barrel, but I don't know if that's better. It has a slightly higher EMC value, and I don't think it's worth it, because all it does is turn RGB. I think the best step up for us from there would be the netherite barrel, which would require an obsidian barrel and a netherite ingot. And an, an obsidian barrel is very easy to make. It's just that. Do we have just an ingot of netherite? Do we, do we just have netherite in the computer? I know we've got netherite somewhere. I just don't, don't know where. Oh, I've got scrap in this backpack. Where did I put all of our netherite? I swear we had surplus of the stuff. We, we just smelt this, right? That's what we do. We just... Stick it in the smeltery. No? How do we... Uns oh, you, it's the scrap that you combine with the gold. Okay, let's, let's just do this. There we go. And... Where did the rest of it go? There it is. Let's put that up there like that. And now we have the netherite. Three ingots is more than enough. Because it's EMCable. And we only need one. Then it said to put the obsidian barrel up here and combine it with the netherite scrap to get the netherite barrel. Brilliant. And what I think I'm gonna do, instead of running over to the condensers, is I'm gonna go back down. I'm gonna go back down into the create basement. And I'm gonna stick this into the transmutation tablet. So if I just put this in here... I can now pull out as many of these as I realistically see fit. So let's grab eight of them. We don't need eight of them, again, but I want eight of them. And then all we do, we grab that super glue that we put to one side earlier, and we stick that along the top. I'll put them here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then I've just got to glue the barrels down. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And if we look inside, these things have a very big inventory space. In fact, they're bigger than the backpack inventory space. Um, and we have eight of those now. So all that we have to do to start off with is... You know what, let's sleep first to get rid of people like you. Did pressing zoom just crash my game? Are you serious? And we're back, and surprisingly, in the time it took for me to, you know, die and then come back, it turned daytime, and the zombie must have died. So all we have left to do is deal with this little green creature. And then we can get back to what we were doing. So, as I was saying, the next step was to grab ourselves the mystery wood saplings. Now... I don't remember which backpack I put them in, but I know I put them in one of them, so let's just have a look through very quickly. Although it might have been this third backpack. Yep, it was. So, we've got to take the saplings. Then what we've got to do, we can kick that back up there, is we've got to hand one of these saplings to each of these deployers. So if I give this deployer... No. If I give this deployer a sapling, not all of them, let's give it one. A singular sapling, but before that, apply it as a filter. There we go. So now it can only place uh, that type of thing. It won't grab anything else. And on top of that, it's only got one in its hand. Which, you know, it, it'll have more than one later, but for now this really helps us. So, one filter hand. Good. Then one filter hand. Well done. Then it's one filter hand. Good boy, you're getting it. Well done. And then it's one, and then it's filter, and then it's hand. Perfect. Give me the dirt. Right then, so what we're going to do with the rest of it, we're just going to we're just going to shove them in the netherite barrel. And there's a reason we're doing that. I'll show you in a second. And actually, no, what do I mean, what do I mean show you in a second? You know what's going to happen. If you don't know how the create mod works at this point, then you are seriously lost. Um, but you, 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 for those that might not, what it's going to do is it's going to pull. It's going to use this as its internal inventory. And that when, it, when it's placed the one in its hand, it's going to pull an extra one from the barrel to put down on the next block that it's going to place it on. Okay? So, what we've got to do now... Am I crashing again? Are you pulling my fucking leg? Okay, so I'm going to keep it 100-100 with you. I was planning on recording all the way up until I finished everything on that board today just because I needed a backlog of anhedonia. Desperately. But that last crash kind of just took all of my motivation and flushed it down the toilet. Uh, so we're just going to finish this and then we're going to call it there for the day. Because it's nearly done. All we've got to do 
is we've got to give this thing rotational power and bish bash bosh, we're basically done. So we have two choices. I'm gonna go with option one and I'm not gonna explain either of them because option one is quicker, easier, and I don't wanna do option two. So option one is we dig underneath the mechanical bearing. We dig towards where the original water wheel was, the outside one, all the way over here. Just keep digging forwards. We just keep digging forwards. And I believe we are soon to come upon what it is we're looking for. This wasn't what we're looking for, and I'm terrified that it exists here. What is this? Some sort of weird underground cave pocket. I should probably light this up so that mobs don't spawn here. I should also probably use torches for that, but I don't want to have to go and grab some, so, um... You saw nothing. Either way, from here, I actually need to make a detour this way. Let's just quickly check while we're here. Can anything in this room spawn? No, it cannot. Okay, we're fine. I should be right underneath the original pipeline, or at the very least, close to it. I'm surprised I haven't run into it yet, to be completely honest. Huh. I'm nearly there, so if I just keep going in this direction, I should eventually hit it. Oh, yep, I've hit it. Here it is. Okay, so we can just uh, replace this dead here, and here, and here. Right, so what we need to do now is we need to replace this particular bit of shaft with a gearbox. Now, we do have some on us. We have 45. So we can just put that in there, and the rotational power continues on. It's inverted, but that doesn't matter because this is a dead thing anyway. Uh, what we've got to do now, we've got to now grab our wrench and flip this puppy around, like so. There we go, now we've got upwards rotational force. Yeah, now we've got to... Actually, we've got to EMC the shaft first, hold on. There we go, give me a stack, and while I'm here, stick, cyan rose, cogwheels, uh, barrels, slime, golden apples, gold, netherite. Iron nuggets, mystery wood. We can just throw it all in here, and then we can pull it out whenever we need. It's like a more advanced computer, and as soon as I figure out how to break it, it'll be even better than the computer, which is kind of depressing, considering how long I've tried to set the computer up for. There we go, so stick a shaft there. Then, if we go back to the gearbox, give me the gearbox, put it there, and then rotate it. Brilliant. We can now run shafts all the way along here. And because, even though it's a 2x2 two two tunnel, this is in the way, nothing can spawn down here, which is even better. I did not mean to do that. I ran out of shaft. I appear to have gotten myself stuck. I didn't even know that was an option. It baffles me you can take it this far. But either way, with four slash five shafts left, all we have to do now, grab ourselves the gearbox once again, turn the rotation upwards, like so, and then plug it in. And... Huh. That... shouldn't happen. And I'm annoyed that it did. Okay, so... These things didn't stick, even though they should, so we've got to do things the hard way, like always. Okay, glue, 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 and glue, 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 glue. Boom, boom, bada, ba, ba, pow. And then plug this in. That's better. It's going the wrong way. Okay, let's see. If I add in another gearbox, does that solve my issues? Surprisingly. Yes, it's still not placing things though, which isn't good. Um, how did this happen? We're smarter than this. Unless I need to slow it down? It has the saplings in its hand, unless it needs to change the type of grab mode that it's on. I know you can change the mode the hands are in, but I don't know how. Oh, that's how. And no, that's the wrong version. No, I don't want that. So if that's breaking, that means it was in the correct one to begin with. So I don't know what you could possibly want from me. Alright, let me see what I did wrong. I am so fucking confused. Why did it work there? What? Okay, no, I'm not allowing that. You can get fucked. So what, you're telling me it won't place it on grass, but it'll place it on dirt? How the hell do I even get it to stay dirt long enough? Wait, so it's not about it being on dirt, because it's not... Does it have to be a block higher? Because that definitely makes fucking sense, doesn't it? Fine, if you want to act like a prat, you can be trapped like a prat. We'll stick you to the fucking barrels. You know what? That is what we call satisfying. Okay, so it just needed to be moved higher, apparently. Either way, it's done. The tree farm is set up. 
Right? It's not even really a tree farm because the wood looks fuck ugly. It's just a, a golden apple farm. We have done the golden apple farm. I am going to bed. Now, the best thing for us to do to speed up this golden apple farm is for us to start adding watches of flowing time into the mix. Because mixing the Create Mod and Project E together has never gone badly in the history of forever. And shut up if you say otherwise. There we go, four watches of flowing time. Nice and nice. Then let's grab ourselves the pedestals. Where are the pedestals? There we go. Let's grab four of those. One, two, three. Give me one more. That's four. Brilliant. Five. Take five. Okay, I'll take a fifth one. And then I'll throw it up your ass. Forward. On. Forward. On. On. I have no idea if that affects the growth of trees. We're about to find out. It does not appear to affect the growth of trees. Oh. There we go. And it's got even more saplings to plant now. Brilliant. But yeah, so I have a feeling if we make it, a, if we use a, a sprinkler, this will probably speed itself up. Look, golden apple leaves. Right there. See? And even more saplings for it to plant. Right then. I consider that an absolute win. Very much an absolute win. Right then. So, as I mentioned, I was going to continue doing things. However, this mod pack, extrapolate the rest of the sentence for yourself. Uh, so, if you have enjoyed this episode of Starsick, or I guess this session of Anadonia, not Starsick. If you have enjoyed this session of Anadonia, make sure to leave a like down below. Make sure to leave a comment to tell me what you like about it, because I'm desperately looking for reasons. And, uh, yeah, if you do enjoy my content, make sure to subscribe, because, uh, I mean, you know, it's fun acting all depressed and sad and stuff, but that's not really how I am. Come on, you know me better than that. Uh, but yeah, so, um, that's it for today. In case I don't see you guys, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, and good night. Later, shitlords. Peace!